Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create headphone mixes using real faders in Reaper. I have a track in front of me here with four parts. We have drums, bass, and two synths. Let's hear it. And I want to create some headphone mixes for this song so that the band can hear themselves and have their own separate mixes. Now, typically, if you wanted to do this, you'd go to the routing on each track, create a hardware output, send, send it to headphones one, or to headphones two, and adjust the level for that instrument right over here. But that makes it hard to create our mix. I just have to go to each one for each sound. A better way of doing it is creating a new track down here, or two, let's name them, headphones one and headphones two. Then we can send from these four tracks by selecting them all, hold down shift and drag from the routing to each one of them. Do it again for headphones two. And if we go to the routing on each of these tracks, we'd see the receives right here our drums, bass, and synths. And we can make a mix right from here, either headphones one or headphones two. But again, that's still a bit awkward as you don't have real faders in our mixer where we could adjust each mix. And if you have a control surface, you also can't use the faders on that, not for the headphone mixes. So with the method I'm gonna show you, you can. So let's delete these tracks and start over. We're gonna start by duplicating all the tracks in our project. So we'll select them all, right click, and duplicate them. Let's delete the audio that's on each track. We don't need that. Let's also delete the effects that are on each duplicate. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac. And now let's give it another color to separate it from the regular tracks. Let's go with this color here. And now we can send from each one of these tracks to its duplicate by dragging from here and dropping it here. Now by default, it's gonna be a post fader send. We don't really want that because if we use that, the fader on the original is gonna also affect the fader on the duplicate or the headphone mix. And we don't want that. So we wanna change this to either pre-fader post effects or pre-effects. I prefer post effects this way we can still use the effects that are on the main tracks. And those effects will be sent to our duplicates or our headphone tracks. But instead of dragging and dropping each track, I find it quicker to use the routing matrix. So let's delete that send. And let's drag these tracks to the bottom right here. And let's go to the routing matrix. Under view, routing matrix. And right from here, we can create our sends for each track. So our drum track can be sent to the drum duplicate right here. Now when you click on it, it's gonna create the send as post fader, because again, that's the default. If you wanna change that to make this quicker, instead of changing each one, let's change it in the preferences. If we go down here to track send defaults, we could change this from post fader to pre fader post effects. And now, if we create a send in this window, it's going to be pre fader post effects, which is what we want. And we can just do that for each track. Our bass goes to the bass, synth one goes to synth one, and synth two goes to synth two. We can do that quicker by just dragging it. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac to delete these by dragging. And we can just draw on an angle like this. And that creates a send for each track to its duplicate or the headphone track. 
Now, we also want to do is take the duplicate tracks out of the master parent send. Otherwise, we're going to hear everything twice. So let's just drag from here down. And now if we play our track, you can see it's happening on all the tracks. But we're just hearing this mix here. If we adjust the headphone mix, we're not going to hear it in the control room. But if you want to hear that mix in the control room, go back to the routing matrix and just switch it. Take these out of the master parent send and put these in. But that's just for monitoring in the control room. In general, we're going to leave it like this with these turned off. These are just going to be sent to the headphone mix, which we need to send next. If we go over here to our headphone hardware outputs, we could send it here. But before we do it, we should change the defaults back to post fader. In our preferences, change this back to post fader. Then if we create the sends over here, Sending them all to headphone one. All these tracks are going to headphone one, and the original tracks are still going to the master parent sent, which we're hearing in the control room. And because we changed the default back to post fader, the sends over here are post fader. So now, if we want to create another headphone mix, just select these tracks and duplicate those. Let's bring them to the bottom, make them smaller so we can see them all. Let's give them their own color. Let's make them yellow. Now these can be used for headphone mix too. If we go back to the routing, we can see they're already set up as sends from the original. So our drums are going here and here, and it's still pre-fader, but our new tracks are still going to headphone mix one. So let's take these out by holding down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and dragging, and put them here instead. So now these are sending to Headphone 2. Again, if you want to hear Headphone Mix 2 in the control room, just take these out and put these in the Master Parent Send instead. So now we're going to hear this mix in the control room. Let's put these back to normal. And now it's all set up. But the best part of this is we can use screen sets to make this more organized and more useful. Let me show you. Right now we're seeing three times as many tracks as we need to. So let's go to our track manager under view, track manager, and let's choose all the headphone tracks from here to here. And let's hide them from the track control panel and the mixer. This way it's nice and neat. And if we go to our mixer, we're only seeing our main tracks, which is good. So we should save this as a screen set. Go to screen sets right here and go to the track views tab. Choose the first one, hit save. And we could save this as a screen set. Now I only want to save the track mixes status right here. So let's deselect these. Let's name it normal and let's save it. Now let's go back to our track manager and let's hide these tracks from the mixer and only view the first headphone mix right here. Now we could save this as a screen set right here. We'll name it headphones one. Now that's saved over here. Let's go back to the track manager, hide these, and let's see just headphones two in the mixer. Go back to the screen sets and save this right here. Headphones two. And now using these keystrokes right here, we could switch 
what mix we're working on. And you can change these keystrokes right over here. But I'm going to use the default, F4 through F6. So if I hit F4, if we go to our mixer, we're just seeing our main mix. But if we hit F5, it goes to headphone one, which we're not going to hear in the control room, but it's still affecting what's going to headphones one. And we could hear that if we switch it from here. Or we could put it back to normal, hit F6, and now we're seeing headphones too. So very quickly, we could switch our mixes, both in the mixer and also on our control surface, so we can use real faders to adjust our mixes. Normal, headphones one, and headphones two. I find that to be a much better way of creating separate mixes for the control room and for the headphones. And we could switch it with just one key. So that's pretty much it. That's creating headphone mixes with real faders in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.